Hello everybody, and thanks for joining us for another Walla Wallet tutorial. Today we're going to be showing you how to stake HBAR from within Walla Wallet. Staking HBAR natively on the Hedera network is something that we've all been waiting for for quite a while, so we're super excited to support that within Walla Wallet, and today we're going to show you how it's done. The first order of business for us, since there are some fees associated with configuring staking within Walla Wallet and on the Hedera network, we're going to want to go into settings then we're going to want to scroll down. We're going to go to the payment account and we're going to select an account that will pay fees associated with staking or viewing staking info. But just as a side note, the fees will act, the fees for staking will actually be paid from the account that you are staking from. This isn't something that Walla Wallet has any control over. This is, this is a function of the Hedera network. So the account that you are staking the HBAR from, is the one that will pay the configuration fee. But other fees like uh, viewing the staking info or creating new accounts, we want to have an account selected for that anyway, so we'll go ahead and select an account here. And then the next order of business, particularly for existing Walla Wallet users, um, because of the recent decline in the market price of HBAR, um, the price of fees in HBAR has gone up accordingly. So we're going to need to select max Hedera fees and we'll probably have to change that from the default of one HBAR to 10. We'll go ahead and hit update. All right. Now we're going to go back to the main wallets page. We're going to select the account that we want to stake the HBAR from. We're going to select the account. And now, you see a couple of icons in the upper right hand corner? There's an airplane icon that represents the airdrops function, and then right next to that there's an icon that's supposed to look like a pile of cash. We're going to go ahead and tap on that icon. And then we're brought to the staking info page. So you can see here that since we selected this account, uh, this is the account that's going to be paying the, uh, that's going to be paying the configuration fees. Now the view staking info function does charge a small Hedera micro fee. So I'm going to skip that step for now. We're going to go ahead and tap on configure. And now we see that earn staking rewards here is already checked by default. We figure that most people using Walla Wallet and staking HBAR are probably going to, earn, going to want to earn some rewards. So we've got that checked by default. And if you want to earn them, we recommend you leave it there. And then down below that, you see Hedera node ID or account ID. Uh, Hedera node ID 1 is selected by default. We're going to hit update. And now we're brought with a fee summary. And you can see the, the small fee that Walla Wallet charges for staking HBAR and configuring that within Walla Wallet. As long as you're okay with the fees, go ahead and hit okay. It takes a couple seconds to process. And then voila, like magic, HBAR staking within Walla Wallet has now been configured. Go ahead and tap okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and pay the, uh, the Hedera micro fee to view the staking information just to confirm that I've configured it properly. So I'll hit view staking info. We can see that Walla Wallet does not charge any fees for this view staking info function. It's just a, uh, a small micro fee on the Hedera network since we're actually querying the Hedera network, it's the Hedera node itself and not one of the mirror nodes. Hence, there's a small fee associated with it. So we're going to hit OK. And there we go we can see that the information is correct. We are staked to node ID one, and we are set to receive the HBAR rewards for staking as soon as they are activated. Now we see here that staked account ID is blank, staked to me is uh, zero, staked period start, pending reward. So currently the Hedera Council has not voted on the staking rewards, and the staking account is, that pays out the rewards has not actually been officially funded yet. But once both of these things happen, the Hedera Governing Council has voted on the staking rewards and the reward account has been sufficiently funded, then they will activate the rewards function. So what we're doing here, we are encouraging people to get their HBAR staked because there's no risk, there's no slashing, there's no burning in the Hedera network. There's none of those things associated with staking your HBAR. Um, it's a good idea to go ahead and stake the HBAR now, and plus that helps the Hedera network get an idea of how many, uh, how many accounts are going to be staked out there um, so that they can figure out a fair distribution method for, uh, for giving out the rewards. 
So that is, that is about it. We're gonna take a look at one more item here. We're gonna go back to our wallet. We're gonna to go to the, we're gonna tap the transaction here on the bottom right. We're gonna pull down to refresh. And I just wanted to quickly show you that there, that the transaction record here does in fact have the uh, records for the Walla Wallet fee for the staking configuration. We can go in, we can tap on that and see a little bit more detail about the fees that were paid. If we want to get even more detail, we're welcome. You're welcome to tap, tap the uh, transaction details button that will take you to the Dragon Glass mirror node, so you can view the transaction in more depth. And then also up here, there was this is the uh, the fee that was paid out for viewing the staking configuration. And that is it. Staking HBAR within Walla Wallet natively on Hedera, super simple. We're glad you're using Walla Wallet. We appreciate your time, and we hope you have a great day.